Just make you cry And I don't wanna fight with you I would rather lie to you Proliferating and a rape of public pairs over a decision to fly a private jet on its recent trip abroad when the official presidential jet cult have made the same trip. The ranking member on the Foreign Affairs Committee says his checks revealed the trip, which could cost about three million cities, smacks of insensitivity at a time that a country is going through austerity. Mr. Blackwa has been speaking with Chrissy Parker Wilson. As people are struggling, is massive economic hardship. We have a presidential jet which was purchased by President Kufuor, the Falcon. It is in good shape. Mm. The Falcon could have taken the president to France, but the president decided to chart at top of the range the ACJ 320neo, which is like a wonder in aviation sectors because Ordinarily, it can take 150 passengers, passengers. but this particular ACJ 320 Neo, and if you go on the Airbus website, they project this as, as, as the most outstanding in terms of their luxurious fleet. Mm. The president and the Ghanaian government went to charter this flight from Acropolis Aviation, who are the owners who manage this flight. And for an hour, we paid 15,000 pounds, approximately. Right. The president flew from Accra to Paris, from Paris to Johannesburg, Johannesburg to Accra, 23 hours. And our conservative estimate is that the president spent about 345,000 pounds. Now, at today's exchange, this 345,000 pounds works out to some 2.8 million Ghana cities for just 23 hours. 2.8 million Ghana cities. Oh. When the president had so many other options, if the president doesn't want to use the Falcon, right at this UK-based Acropolis Aviation, oh. they have other modest chartered options. Even with, with, with bigger capacity, more than 17 people. With the president could have opted for. The president needed had gone for the top of the range, the most luxurious aircraft that has ever been put together by Airbus. So this is clear profligacy. You accuse the president of profligacy. Naked and blatant profligacy. This is a president who is insensitive to the plight of the Ghanaian. Look, this is a time that the youth are agitating. Fix the country now movement oh. is all over. It's been trending for weeks. The youth of this country are up in arms. Lack of opportunity. Every sector is in a mess. I've been following your morning show, the revelations about free SHS. The free SHS, right. I mean, head teachers are not getting their releases. We can't find supplies. We don't even have furniture. No textbooks for more than two years now. We can't buy textbooks for our students. And then you spend 2.8 million cities in just 23 hours. This is an outrage. This is a, this is a total betrayal from a president who assured us that he's coming to protect the public press. Is this how you protect the public press? Oh. When you have options. The president was under no obligation. And look at the irony. You are going to beg for debt forgiveness. The people you are going to beg for debt forgiveness from, do they live like this? Do they travel in, with such opulence, with such obscene extravagance? They don't. We are not angry enough in this country and against such, such, such blatant disregard for the taxpayer. Ask yourself, if Ghana was President Kufwado's company, private company, would he blow 2.8 million cities in just 23 hours in this manner? So this is totally, totally outrageous. Ms. Okujetua Blakwa adds an urgent question has been filed to demand full disclosure of the money spent on the trip. I filed an urgent question. I want the Minister for Defence to come to the House and explain why the Falcon is not being used by the President, particularly on this trip, why the Falcon was not used. And we want full disclosure oh. because 
beyond the 2.8 million cities are other incidental costs. I know, for example, that the crew of this uh, Acropolis Aviation Company stayed in South Africa overnight because the president spent the night in South Africa at our cost. I know of other landing rights, other airspace rights and all of that that we paid for. This is all outside the 2.8 million. So we will be demanding full and thorough disclosure as to how much of the taxpayers' money has gone into such lavish air travels. And we would want to know whether they receive advice from our professional soldiers at the Ghana Air Force okay. that the president should not use the Falcon, which we know is in pristine condition. Oh. 